Ready? Time for the Master Chef to show off. Hmm, yeah, this seems good. Time for the Master Chef to show off. All right, we did it. Time for the Master Chef to show off. Hmm, yeah, this seems good. you. Thanks. Thanks for coming. My partner, Himari, she... I went after her, but she... She said, don't come near me. And then she ran off. She should be around here somewhere. I'd be very grateful if you could help me find... Thank you.
Mom, didn't I tell you not to come near me? Huh? Rika? What's that stuff coming out of... Wait, don't tell me. Huh? You sound so... Rika, are you alright? Something wrong... I'm, I'm just fine. Same as always. Rika, who's calling me? Hamari? Wait, who... Who's Hamari? It's me! I'm your partner! Himari! My partner? My partner wouldn't... Wouldn't be so... Wouldn't be so mean to me! Freak <laughs> What do we do? It looks like her form is altering, right? Is... Is it my fault? Pushing her away? Please! Help Rika! If we can't save her... She's gonna turn into a machine Draymon! go back home. I was worried about my sisters, and so I got angry and took it out on you. Himari, you have sisters? Yeah, they're twins. They're just in second grade, and we don't have a mom, so I take care of them. I got so worried thinking about how hungry they must be, but you're important too, Rika. I can't just abandon this world. I wanted to fix things here and zip back to the real world as fast as I could. Things just got worse and worse, and then I went and took it out on you, Rika. I've been... I've been awful. Himari, don't cry. I'm all right. Your friend saved me. Right? You used some program on me, didn't you? That's right. You did something just before Rika attacked. Didn't you? So that's why Rika's form didn't change? A prototype antivirus program? I didn't know we even had anything like that. But you said it can only delay the onset, right? Not prevent it completely? Which means Rika could start changing again at any time. Amari, do I scare you? <laughs> what are you talking about, dummy? I couldn't be scared of you. You're my partner, and I care about you. I promise, if you start changing again, I'll be the one to stop you. So you just rest for now. Don't worry too much about it. Himari. Did you evolve? Yes, I think so. My body feels full of power. With this much strength, I can be the one to protect you from now on. Someone's feeling pretty bold. 
But thank you. I know I can count on you, Rika. Oh, it's Talmon's gate! Thank goodness! Come on, Rika. Let's get you back to town and patched up. Sounds like... Thanks so much for everything. I'm so grateful. I want to stay near you for the rest of my life.
One more time, Yukimura. Yeah. Exhaust flame! Come on! You won't get stronger than anybody with an effort like that. They've been like this since I arrived. Training like they're possessed. You can tell just from looking. Yukimura isn't up to this. But even using force, I don't think I could stop them now. I know I'm not setting a great example, but I need to ask you to put a stop to it. Don't try and stop us. This is Yukimura's and my problem to solve. Hey, what's the matter, Yukimura? You done already? No. That's right. Do your best, Yukimura. We'll be stronger than anyone else out there. We decided we'd do whatever it takes, even if that means altering our form. Kota. If that's what you want. Not. Brace yourself, Yukimura. As long as you don't lose your will, all that power can be yours. <laughs> Yukimura, what are you doing? Knock that curse into submission. Why? That's not Machine Draymon. <laughs> All right! You did it! That's right! Ha! You're doing it! Good hit! Use this! You did it! Good aim! Nice! Nice! That's right! That's the way! Nice! This should do it! Yeah! the way. Yeah! That's right. Keep it up. Ah! Yeah! Finish it! That's the way. Attack! Nice! <laughs> Try using my antivirus program one more time, please. It seems effective. That is, I wonder if my auto-learning program is doing even better than I thought it would, if it's working this well. Sorry, just talking to myself. Anyway, we've got other things to worry about. <laughs> Yukimura, I'm sorry. What were you so impatient for? You're not a kid anymore. Didn't you think for a second it might turn out like this? Because I've got nothing. I can't do anything. I just wanted to have something I could be sure about. Our friend here is obviously special. And Himari's so sure of herself. I'm the only one who's just... nothing. It was the same in the real world, too. I mean, not to brag or anything, but I did great at school and sports, and I could read people pretty well. I'm sure I was the kind of guy people would be jealous of. And of course, I appreciated that. But all the same, when I had to actually think about what I wanted to do in life, I realized I was just empty inside. Everyone would talk about their dreams and goals, and I'd just try and think of a single thing I really wanted to do. I had this vague picture of how I'd enjoy myself, find some job or other, get married or something, get older, and just have a pretty average, decent life. 
Suddenly, I felt like my footing wasn't stable anymore, and I started to panic, thinking I had to find something. And that was when I got summoned into the digital world. Here, I finally felt like I was special. I believed there was something, but it turned out. I was sure of that after I met this tamer. I knew right away that I was just an empty nobody after all. And so I ended up mistreating my partner, the one I was supposed to care for more than anyone. I'm the worst. I'm so stupid. So it's true. That was pretty stupid of you. You've got a partner who believes in you and risks all kinds of danger for you, no matter what. A bond so strong that even in altered form, they wouldn't lose sight of who you are. You've got friends who come running to your aid. And you still think you're a nobody? Uh, All this time, you never noticed that you had something no one else has in your hands all along. Uh, <laughs> I guess so, huh? Looks like help. We need to let Yukimura get some rest. Yeah. Occupational hazard, I guess. He was trying too hard to put up a good front. As cool as he talked, he still relied on you so much. Not that I'm really one to talk. Hope you can give me a pass there. You ought to take a rest too. I have a feeling things are about to get pretty busy. So, the antivirus program opens up new possibilities for altered Digimon. Perfect timing! Long time no see. Things have finally recovered to the point where we can send and receive video signals again. Thanks to all of you. I can't thank you enough. Still, I can't maintain this for long. Apologies, but let me get straight to the point. First, about the changes to the digital world. As you're aware, all of it stems from the spread. I see. So it was like what happened to me before. It's an emergency measure that the digital world can take in times of crisis. So the fact that we were summoned here was... Yes. It was the will of the digital world. Huh? It was? I guess our connection from that tournament back in fifth grade was just coincidence then. The fact that I'm even able to connect and speak with you is due to your ability to resist the effects of the crisis. But it seems that our only hope against the BH program is for you and the Digimon to combine forces. That's right. We've been pulling our weight, too. We've been working on Mr. Mameo's prototype antivirus program. I hadn't told you about this yet. Well, with everything that happened with Hamari and Koda, I realized my prototype might be more useful than I'd thought. I threw together a new one and gave it to Talmon complete with the new test data. Yes, that test data was quite useful. An unexpected benefit of Kota and Himari's episodes, perhaps. Uh, <laughs> You're welcome? It looks like this world chose its helpers well when it summoned you. Only problem left is... How do we spread the antivirus program through the entirety of the digital world? There's a big mesh of underground network cables stretching all over the digital world. If we transmit the antivirus program from server tower, it ought to spread everywhere, no problem. The digital world's network isn't functioning properly right now, though. I suspect that a critical cable may have suffered some damage during that machine Draymond rampage. Simultaneous transmission won't be possible unless we can fix it. Then we'll need to pinpoint the damaged area. Let's ask Digimon from all over for information. Guess we've just got to tackle one problem at a time. Isn't that right? I'll gather information as well. 
I may not be able to operate freely just yet, but I can at least send Digimail. <laughs> I can do this! 